there is actually a, a high level of inflation in this part of our world. In fact, the countries of the world, or the world at large, is experiencing high level of inflation, and uh, Nigeria is actually not exempted from this um, economic ulubalo, uh, economic uh, uncertainty, and uh, economic pandemonium, and um, economic balabu. Um, let me say that <laughs> Let me say balabu. You know, it's not a right English, but um, I think um, for this discussion, it can actually flow. See, um, there is inflation in Nigeria, there's inflation all over the world, there's inflation everywhere. Things are pretty expensive, you know. If you actually go to the market now, you realize that um, it is not actually business as usual. And, um, you know, things are very expensive now. A lot of families, a lot of individuals, you know, they are struggling to survive and unfortunately too, you know, a lot of people are actually losing their jobs and, um, you know, things are not really okay um, like the way they are supposed to be. You know, in this economic uh, situation, even before we got to where we are now, um, I could remember I did a video some time ago and then I was kind of pessimistic or antagonistic in that video and a lot of people did not really understand what I was trying to say. I actually told people to prepare for the worst that more, you know, things are going to get worse in the, the upcoming months and um, some people said, man, why did you have to say that? It was actually because I was able to forecast and um, I was able to see how it was going to be in the future that is actually coming. And then my prediction is actually right based on my research and, um, and uh, my investigation. And today you can see what is actually happening. And I actually tell people at that time, I told them that you really need to prepare yourself. But because a lot of things are going to come up, now that you know, now that we're experiencing these things, what are you supposed to do as a person? You know, you see the beauty of inflation. Inflation makes things to be very expensive. You know, if you're actually buying something at a particular price before, these things or the price of these things are going to skyrocket, you know, on an unimaginable level in a gargantuan level, in a in an unfathomable level, you understand that you are going to be flabbergasted and uh, surprised by the level of what of this, you know, changes, tremendous changes that will characterize these things that we actually consuming before. And that is the state we're in now. Things are very expensive. The money does not have any value any longer. If you hold some amount of money now, before you know it, that money is gone, that money cannot even purchase anything at all. You know, if you have like 10,000 naira now, it's like you're having 10 naira or 100 naira. It doesn't buy anything, it doesn't, you know, have any value. It doesn't have anything that that 10,000 naira can actually buy. By the time you go out there to actually, you know, eat or you buy one or two things, that 10,000 naira is what is gone, my brother. The money is a corner. You begin to ask yourself, what have I consumed? What did I buy? What did I, you know, use this money to do? That is the situation. That is the condition. That is the area we find ourselves in this part of the world. I would not want to blame the government because that is not the purpose of my, you know, discussion now. So the government has been, you know, um, docile, has not been pragmatic. The government has been, you know, um, not doing enough in this regard, but that is not our business. So this is our economic situation. This is where we find ourselves. Our money does not have any value again. You know, in this, do you know that in this economic situation and um, economic overpower and uncertainty, um, pandemonium and economic instability characterized by you know high level of employment 
money losing value, you know, a lot of things are playing, household not being able to feed themselves properly, not being able to, to acquire or be able to, you know, have a free square meal in a day, people losing their jobs, you know, high level of crime in the society, people being in a state of melancholy and depressive mood, and some people contemplating suicide and uh, you know a lot of things happening in the society there is a light you know in the midst of this situation and that's what i always told people in my i remember when i was doing my video that time i was being pessimistic uh, because i did a lot of research and i realized about that based on my investigation things might actually get you know worse and I actually advise people that in this condition, in this situation, you don't need to relent, you don't need to give up, you don't need to relax because more things are going to happen, you know, and it is happening now. Now, the beauty of inflation. In this economic situation, in this economic instability, in this economic pandemonium and the whole value, you will realize that you know some people are still making it in this economic situation everybody is crying everybody is you know lamenting everybody is you know angry you see people having you know this anger mood in them transferring aggression in this way and you know and simplifying or Catalyzing a cycle, you know, a psychotic you know, attitude, or having this melancholy, or having a state of, of mental, you know, disability or mental instability. A little things they get easily angry and they get easily pissed off because of you know, frustration, because of depression, because of what of one problem or the other. But in this midst of inflation. There is actually hope. Now, what is the hope? What is the way out? What can you do in this economic situation? Everybody is complaining. Now, do you know that in a period of inflation, some people still make more money? A lot of people become richer more in a period of a inflation and some people are even clamoring and paying that the level of inflation should not come down because that is when they actually make more money you see in a period of inflation like what we're experiencing now people will have this anxiety and phobia and fear and when there is fear for most of the people that are dealing with stocks and all those things because in most cases like that there's every tendency that stocks will lose their value. So because of the tension and phobia, they will be tempted to sell their stocks and what and sell their assets. You know. And at this period in time, this time is when most of these investors actually come in and grab those things that people are what are selling off and what are dashing out at the end of the day at a very lower prices. Now, look at someone like Warren Buffett, one of the most richest people, top 10 richest people in the world. The man does not care how long it's going to take him for him to, to actually you know, wait to, or to buy stocks. So, he usually buys stocks when the value of stocks are going down, when people are afraid or they are not certain about what's going to happen next. That is when this man will come up and buy stocks and Get those stocks and till today is one of the richest people in the world you understand now so in a period of inflation inflation creates opportunities it creates opportunities and what are the opportunities we're talking about here in a period of inflation there is or there are some group of people that are always profiteering and are always making money in this period of time and who are these people these people are the investors investors 
if you don't want to call them investors, you can call them entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Now, I will quickly discuss them how these guys are making money, how they are making headways in this period of, of inflation, and you can actually decide. You see, in a period of inflation, let me start with the entrepreneurs. You see, people will always consume goods and their services, whether you like it or not. People will always consume goods and services, whether it is consumable or services. People will always get those things, irrespective of the level of uh, inflation. Now, when there is inflation and you consume those products or those things that are being produced by the entrepreneurs, you are creating profit for the entrepreneurs because the entrepreneurs are smiling to the banks and they are making more money. How do they make more money? Because in a period of inflation, things are going to be very expensive. And the more expensive things are, the more money the entrepreneurs will be making. You see it now. So are you actually an entrepreneur? Are you in the category of the entrepreneurs? Do you have a market or a value? you are actually creating in this particular period of what of a inflation or you have a nothing you see in a period of inflation people that are going to be groaning that are going to be crying that are going to be lavishing i mean like languishing that are going to suffer most are those that are consuming and they are not productive so the entrepreneurs are productive and the consumers are not uh, productive because in a period of inflation everybody we always uh, consume but the entrepreneurs belongs to the category of the producers because they are very productive so in this period consumers whether you are rich or poor you will always buy their products and when you buy their products they are making more money and you are also creating wealth for those entrepreneurs at the end of the day do you see it now so that is why in this period of time or in this economy situation you cannot afford to be a consumer only you must look for a way you must look for an alternative to to be a producer and not only a consumer and that is why in this inflation you must have what we call consumer behavioral limitation now what i mean by consumer behavioral limitation what i'm saying here is that you do not need to consume and be consuming and be consuming and be consuming every time you must learn to you know put something aside as a form of savings for yourself when there is nothing to hope on or when there is nothing to fall back on but the problem in this part of our world is because people don't have that saving attitude. They don't have that investment attitude. They don't have that notion or that idea that you don't need to use your five fingers to eat, but you must use some fingers to eat, maybe two or three, and you reserve the remaining two fingers or the three fingers for the future. So in the period of inflation, the producers the entrepreneurs are making more money because whether you like it or not, you will consume their products even when they are very exorbitant or they are very expensive. You will consume them. Do you see it now? So, in a, in an inflationary trend or situation or circumstances that we find ourselves in this part of our world, you must be a producer and not a consumer only. And as a consumer also, you must determine or you must be able to have a limit to what you consume unfortunately a lot of people don't even have the limit to what they consume they consume virtually everything they have this you know insatiable urge once the money coming they spend all the money you have 10 era you spend all the 10 era you have 15 era you spend all the 15 era they believe that once they spend the money another one will come and that is not how it works in what in a capitalist economic system or a free market economic system or in a 
in an economy system that we are experiencing now. Because why? The economy system has been programmed in a way that those that will make money or be rich in this economy system are the producers or those that have what I call financial education. Financial education. So if you don't have financial education, you are going to be what? In a perilous uh, situation or circumstances. And that's why I've always been advocating and saying that you must have financial education. You must attend seminars. You must watch. You must watch videos on YouTube. You must watch videos, not only watching videos where people are dancing naked or dancing in the frivolous, unscrupulous, stupid, unproductive, and not having any to, to offer you, but just to dance. Or you watch a music that doesn't have any value to add to your life. It doesn't have any value to add to your life. You go out there on the internet, you watch those things that does not have any value to your life. And you are smiling in your poverty, in your penury, in your nothing. And you are happy. People are out there making money, but you are not making any money. You are angry with nature, with everybody. You are blaming the society. You are blaming the government. You are blaming circumstances. You are blaming your enemy in the village for your predicament. And you have forgotten that word, that you are the source of your problem. Because you are a consumer and not a producer. But because you have an insatiable urge for everything, in the society, you are consuming everything, you are not saving for the future. And that's why I said, whenever you have an income with you, don't spend everything. Divide your income or your budgetary, monetary allocation in the month into three parts. Savings, investment, and spending. Investment, you don't touch it. You don't touch your investment. You don't touch your investment. Because that's where the future lies. A lot of people have consumed their tomorrow. Today, a lot of people are not saving money. They don't even have any money to save. They are always borrowing and borrowing and borrowing from mortgage, financial institution, from easy buy, from buy now and pay later. And they feel that they are on top of the world and living a very fictitious, fake life that will not have any value to their life. And that is the circumstance we find ourselves in this society and you keep blaming the government for your your downfall for your your predicament and your upoloy and your downtrodden nature you don't have to blame the government the future lies with you now the second category of people that, that makes money in this level of inflationary trends are people that are actually doing what i call investments investment now if you are not an investor in this economy situation and you don't have anything you know providing money for you as a secondary means you know this economy situation may swallow such people up like a tsunami like a tsunami you understand now now that you still have that job why don't you limit your insatiable urge for everything as a consumer and begin to gather yourself together by saving some money and investing your money. And when I say saving some money, the money you are saving here as an investor is only for a period of a emergencies. When you have emergencies because things happen in life, emergencies happen things come up in, in life. When these issues come up or pop up, you can use your, your savings to solve those problems for yourself and you move on with life. But your investment, and that's why today, those that are actually what investing money, they are earning more money in this economic uh, system. Because whether you like it or not, when you buy those products that are produced by those producers, those that have the productive capacity in this inflationary trend, the profit is shared between them and the what? And the investors. Do you see that? Investors. Because the investors are the co-owner of the companies founded by these entrepreneurs and business owners. And when I talk about entrepreneurs and business owners, 
I'm not talking about what a small or medium scale in industries. I'm talking about companies that are listed on the stock exchange. I'm talking about the companies that are listed on Dow Jones. I'm talking about companies that are listed in what in Nigeria stock exchange and other companies like that that these are what on shares. Do you get it now? Now, if you don't have the capacity or you don't have the ideas on how to, to invest on shares and as an investors, you can go for, for a passive investment portfolio where you don't need to stress yourself at all. The only thing you need to do is to provide the means. And what is the means? The capital. So you invest your money into what? Into those investment portfolios and you watch your money growing for you, working for you. Because every day, something is going to eat your account as a profit or as an interest. You know, I've been talking about this thing for quite some time now. And people don't believe it. They don't. They think it's just a, a mirage or an utopia or something that is fictitious or it's just a random guy coming on YouTube or any of these social media trying to deceive people so that people can follow him. No, that's not it. Because we all have to make money in this country. We need to survive. And the best way we wish we can survive is by being an investor or being an entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur may take a lot of money, may take a lot of energy, may take a lot of capital, investment, feasibility studies, you know, project and the rest of them. So you may not have the capital, but there's one that you have a capital that you can do. And that is what investing your money. A lot of us today now are investing money and we are making money every day. Forget about how that much that money is going to, is whether it's going to be a big money or small money. Start from somewhere. Rome was not built in a day. Those that built Rome took them so many years because I know about the history of Rome. They didn't build Rome in, in one year or two years or three years. It took them so many years or to build Rome. And that is what a proverbial, a proverbial wisdom for you. That for you to be able to get rich, it is something that you have to build over time and not something that will cop up just immediately. And that is why a lot of people believe in what they wanted in this quick, quick syndrome of the thing that let me do it now and I make money for myself immediately. They don't know that well, for you to build wealth or create wealth or be real weak, I mean to be rich and be wealthy in life takes a lot of us, stages and processes. It takes patience, resilience, you know, pragmaticness. It takes what? Pragmatism, resiliency. It takes hard work, determination, honesty, sincerity, trustworthy, and what? And be sincere with yourself. So building wealth does not come like a thief in the night. It is something that you have to build for yourself. Do you see now? You have to build for yourself. So invest your money. Don't eat your tomorrow today. Invest that money. Now, there are so many investment platforms you can, you can do. You can do, you know, Trove. You can do Shaka. You can even invest in what? In FBN Investment Edge or Mutual Fund. You can invest in Mutual Fund. In fact, that Mutual Fund is what most people are doing. If you don't have the energy or the capacity to, you know, to do what I call I mean, as an investor, I don't have the capacity or the idea as an investor to invest your money worth in stocks where you buy and sell stocks. Then you can put your money into the hands of those that will trade and use that money to make profit on your behalf. And you are giving the profit at the end of the day. Now, do you know that the FBN and most of these mutual funds, portfolio investment companies, are giving 20% investment return per annum. 20% investment return per annum. Let's assume that you put, you know, 1 million naira now. Now, this year, you're able to save up to 1 million naira and put it in what? In your investment portfolio. That 1 million naira will give you 1.2 million. That is 1 million 200,000 in an annum. Now, if God is on your side and you begin to save this money monthly and monthly and monthly for the next five years, for the next 10 years, for the next 20 years, for the next 25 years, imagine how much you need to have in your account. You don't need to work again. 
So if you have actually started this process for a long period of time ago, you will be smiling to the back now. You don't need to work again. This inflation of the thing will just be, you know, every other day. Just, just be smiling because there is money in your what? In your account. You are earning money every day. That is the beauty of what? Of investment. Investment will give you money every day. Every day. Money is eating your account every day. So what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You go out there, you eat like a gluten. Every one of us are eating, you eat and eat. So of us are even eating twice in a day. Not that we don't have the capacity to eat or we don't want to eat. But because eating it itself is a problem. When you have this insatiable urge, you have this consumable insatiable urge for food, it's a problem because that Plato said that those that rule the society are those that have or that become what I call philosopher king. And those that have the arts that are very brave, they should become what? Auxiliaries or what? Or soldiers. But those that love food should become producers. <laughs> and you say you love food, you want to eat and eat. So people eat four times in a day, five times in a day. You are eating the future again. Invest now because that's where the future lies. Now, if you want, you know, um, me to help you in regard to this, just leave your phone number for me on you on my YouTube channel, or you leave your messages on my um, WhatsApp uh, status, and I will put you through on where or companies you can actually invest your money. You don't need to give me your money to me. I don't need your money, but we will advise you on where you can actually invest your money that you'll be earning money every day. There are some people that, you know, have, that are registered now and most of them are smiling, they are happy because they are making money every day. Some people make 500 naira every day. Some people make 600, 700, 800, 1000 plus every day when they are not even working because their money is working for them. Their money is working for them. Do you get it now? So the more you save, the more you invest, the more money you get. You invest two million ever now in the next one year, that makes two point four million ever because it's twenty percent what interest per annum. You invest four million ever now, that makes four point eight million. You are getting eight hundred thousand plus profit in a year. Then tell me, do you need to work again? First year you make eight hundred thousand plus. Then the second year times two, that is one point six million. Then you start paying yourself salary, and you do this process for the next. 10 years, 20 years. Tell me, do you need to work again? You don't need to work again because your investment is working for you. And that's the secret word to wealth creation, to wealth, to richness, to being wealthy that most people will not tell you. A lot of rich people that I see in society today that are legit, this is what they are doing and they are what? Cashing out. They don't go to office, they don't, they're just in the comfort of their own and money is entering into what? Into their account every day. It is time for you to, to decide what you actually want in 2024. On this note, I'm going to stop. If you have not subscribed to my channel, push subscribe now. If you've not been watching my video, I bet you watch my video. I have about 400 and something videos on my YouTube channel on how to build your wealth. Watch my video, share my videos, leave your comments on how to serve you better. And for those that have been watching this video and have been following this platform, their, their life has changed, you know, in its entirety. Please, I am begging you, invest your money. Watch your money grow for you. Don't eat all your resources now. Thinking that it will be like that forever. It may not be like that forever. If you don't plan, you may fail. But if you plan, you will succeed. And that's why they say, success has many father, fathers. But failure is an offer. It is time for you to, want to decide. God bless you all. I pray that the peace of the Lord will be with you. The Lord will comfort you. The Lord will be with you. The Lord will open your eyes of understanding. The Lord will open your mind of understanding. The Lord will prosper our ways in 2024. We will not beg before we eat. We will not lose our loved ones. None of us will die this year. We will not die prematurely. The Lord will keep us. The Lord will you know, bless us and expand our coast. And why God is blessing you, also make effort for yourself do you get it 
God bless you all. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. You will. Bye-bye.